in netherland okay that's why both were rich and both uh, were poor also okay so this type of uh, social differences is known as cross cutting differences politics of social division so democracy involves competition among different political parties and their competition can make social division in political parties so due to their competition what happens they bring social division in political into political division and this type this will lead to the conflict or violence even disintegration in many countries and this things also happens in our country as most of the political leaders they use social division and they reflect social division in the politics okay the political parties talks about their division and make different promises so this political parties they talk about this division okay this division and they make different promises to the different communities before the election okay and make pol policies to redress the grave needs of disadvantages communities so uh, those who are uh, uh, those who are poor or the village people or the people who are living in slim slums area what happens this political parties they comes out there and they make different kind of promises to the people before the election but as soon as the election finishes they forgets everything so so all these things are there in our country also and we can even see in our locality also the people coming and going with lot of promises and not fulfilling the even one promises that they made before the election okay so uh, all these things are there the social division also affect the voting in most countries so uh, in most of the countries what happened the social division plays a major role uh, in voting system okay and this is how the politics defies the society okay and their competition can make social division into political division causing lot of conflict violence and even disintegration in many countries so moving on next we have political division in northern ireland in northern ireland the differences between catholics and the protestant became social division as the catholics were poor and the protestant were rich in region okay so in the northern ireland this catholics and protestant they uh, became the social division and this catholics out there were very poor and the protestant were rich why because the catholics population was only 40 43% and the protestant population was 53% as the population of the protestant was more that's why this this protestant people they used to dominate the catholics people okay and then what happened the politics enter into this uh, area and the catholics were represented by nationalist parties so the politics entered into this areas and now the catholics they formed their own party and were represented by nationalist parties and their demand was to unite northern ireland with ireland okay and in the next the protestant were represented by unionist party and their demand was to stay with united kingdom only okay so why this northern uh, why this catholics people they wanted to unite northern ireland with ireland was that in the ireland the catholics population was more and they felt that in if they join with northern ireland they will not be dominated by the protestant as the catholic population was more out there okay and they started forming their own party and started demanding to unite northern ireland with ireland and on the next the protestant wanted to remain with united kingdom only because this protestant population was more in united kingdom and they also felt safe to stay in united kingdom okay and they started 
forming their own party and started demanding to stay with United Kingdom. They didn't want to divide their div divide United Kingdom. Okay. So uh, this was their demands, and because of this, there were lots of chaos between these Catholics and Protestant in the Northern Ireland, and they started to fight with each other. And hundreds of civilian militants and security forces were killed in that fight between Unionist and Nationalist and between the security forces of UK and the Nationalist. And ultimately in 1998, the UK government and the Nationalists, they reached a peace treaty. And with that peace treaty, this fight came to an end. And now the Protestant sorry the northern ireland is still with united kingdom okay now they were living happily and peacefully in the united kingdom next is political division in yugoslavia the outcome of politics in yugoslavia political competition along the religious ending ethnic lines led to the disintegration of yugoslavia into six independent countries so there was also a religious fight okay and and because of that what was there this yugoslavia was divided into six independent countries okay such example conclude the politics and social division must not be allowed to mix so because of this politics uh, only the yugoslavia was divided into six different independent countries okay and now we move on to three determinants of political outcome the three factors are crucial in deciding the outcome of politics of social division that are number one people perceptions about their identities that means in in the first place the outcome depends on how the people perceive their identities okay for example if we see ourselves as muslim hindu nepali rajput etc then it becomes very difficult to accommodate them like in india okay but but if we say we all are indians not nepali bengali before being nepali bengali muslim sikh etc then then it will be very easier to accommodate ourselves in a country okay so we have to change our thinking and we, they, this social division should not be there. We, we have to treat everyone as equal. Okay. So this is what the people perce perception about their identity tells. Okay. Before being Nepali, before being Hindu, before being Muslim, before being Bengali or any other thing. We first are Indians. Then only all these things comes later okay so we have to make a one identity then only we can accommodate in a country but uh, if we we'll think it in a different way then every time there will be a uh, fightings every time there will be a uh, tension in our country okay Next is the role of political leaders. So the political leaders plays a major role in bringing the community together. So the outcome of politics depends on how the political raise their demands. So it also depends on how the political leader raise their demands for the community. So they have to raise a demand for the community in such a way that it should not affect the other people, other uh, people living in that community. Okay we have is the attitude of the government so lastly it depends on how the government reacts to the demand of different groups if the rulers of the majority community are willing to say the power and accommodate the regional demands of the minority community social division become less threatening of the con for the country but but if in the name of national unity attempts are made to suppress those demands the result is opposite okay like for example our 
country is hindi hindu dominated country and as many people following different religion is also staying in india and if the government only sees for the welfare of the hindu people and and not for the other uh, people following other religion then there will be a social division in our country okay so and it will be a uh, threatening for the country also so this should uh, not be there from the government side okay so this is what the attitude of the government also affects the social division okay eh? so with lastly we come to the conclusion of this chapter and in the conclusion of this chapter we will come to know that in the democratic country like our india the political expression of social division is very normal and can be healthy so social division uh, in our country can be very healthy and normal because it allows the different people the different uh, communities to come together and to express their grievances and their feelings to the government and to resolve that problem okay so that's why it can be very normal and very healthy in the democratic country like india okay so the democracy is the best way to fight for recognition and and also to accommodate diversity that's why our country india is very successful in accommodating the different people following the different religion in our country okay that's why india in india there is unity in diversity okay so with that we have covered this chapter and your home assignment will be uploaded in your group so stay home stay safe keep learning and have a nice day